All right, Rafi, thank you. After the break, it's time for trivia. And why are we smiling? Lawrence Gallus here. I haven't seen you in so long. I know. It's so nice to be back. Call your cousins. Did you get everyone playing it? <laughs> Today's game is very theatric. It's all in honor of next week's Drama Desk Awards. So try to remember everything you know about Broadway and off-Broadway shows. And if you know nothing, you have about two and a half minutes to learn. Trivia is coming up next. <laughs> First, though, we want to congratulate last week's winner. It's Kurt Nielsen from Alpine, New Jersey. Kurt says he's a regular player. Last week, though, was his first time winning. Top score. Kurt, you're the one to beat. Lawrence Gallows in for Caitlin. Take it away, my friend. All right, let's see if I can still do this. Oh, the, <laughs> the Drama Desk Awards are next Sunday, so today we're shining a spotlight on theater. And for anyone joining us for the first time, here's how we play trivia. There are two ways you can join. You can dial 855-384-8974, or you can use your web browser to play from your home computer or any touchscreen device. You just have to log on to NBCNewYork.com slash trivia. To play online, your web browser must be up to date or it won't work. And once we officially begin, the questions will pop up on your TV screen. You'll then have 12 seconds to choose an answer by selecting one, two, or three on your phone's keypad or by clicking on one, two, or three on your browser. Now, if you put your phone on speaker, it will be much easier to play. Now, let's get the countdown clock started. This week, we're sponsored by the annual Drama Desk Award, so we're talking all about Broadway and musical theater. As a reminder, we now have two, not one, ways to play. You can call 855-384-8974 or log on to NBCNewYork.com slash trivia. You'll also receive a message from us with your score at the end of the game. Now remember, you'll need to answer as quickly as possible because those speedy correct answers is what's going to up your score. I wish you luck. Let's see how many people we have. 3,293 over 33 to keep it going. Come on, break a record for me. Are you ready to begin? Here we go. Question one. What is the longest running Broadway show of all time? Is it one Cats, two A Chorus Line, or three The Phantom of the Opera? I got to go backstage at this show recently. There it is. The answer is three. There is Contessa. The answer is three, The Phantom of the Opera. It's now the longest running Broadway show of all time. It's actually 25 this year. It opened in January of 1988 at the Majestic Theater. OK, question number two. The song Give My Regards to Broadway, Pat, was written by which famous composer? Is it one, George M. Cohen, two, Stephen Sondheim, or three, Irving Berlin? Pat, please take it away. The answer is number one. George M. Cohen wrote Give My Regards to Broadway for his 1904 musical Little Johnny Jones. You've probably heard it in the musical about his life too, Yankee Doodle Dandy. All right, question number three. The award ceremony pits Broadway, Off-Broadway, and Off-Off-Broadway productions against each other. It's actually uh, the only award ceremony that does this. Is it the Tony Awards, the Drama Desk Awards, or the Grammy Awards? It's a hint already? Oh, maybe we've said it seven times. The answer is number two, the Drama Desk Awards. It's, they're in their 58th year. They're actually taking place next Sunday, May 19th. And guess what? You can go. They actually sell tickets to the public for this, so you can buy it on their website. Question number four, Matilda is currently on Broadway. I saw it. It's so good. Which of the following actors did not star in the 1996 film? Excuse me. Was it one Rhea Perlman? Two, Danny DeVito, or three, Joe Pesci. Ooh. Oh, the answer is three, Joe Pesci. Matilda, the musical is among the seven productions up for Outstanding Musical at this year's Drama Desk Awards. In fact, I think it's actually nominated for seven Drama Desk Awards in total. So, great show. Get out and see it if you can. Question number five. Broadway Joe was the nickname of what beloved pro New York athlete? Is it Joe DiMaggio, number two, Joe Namath, or three, Joe Girardi? <laughs> for all the guys out there that don't know a thing about Broadway, you better get this one right. Question at the end Answer number two, Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Namath was nicknamed Broadway Joe while playing for the New York Jets in the 1960s and 1970s. Moving along, question number six. The smash hit musical comedy was written by Trey Parker and Matt Stone, co-creators of the animated series of South Park. I love that. Number one is it's Spamalot. Two, the comedy of errors. Or three, the Book of Mormon. The answer is number three, the Book of Mormon. Mormon. South, <laughs> South Park co-creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone wrote the lyrics and music to the Book of Mormon, which won nine Tony Awards and a Grammy Award for Best Musical Theater Album. And there's always a crowd out front still. I walk past it every day. Question seven, the show Mamma Mia is based around the music of what 1970s pop group? The Carpenters, REO Speedwagon, or ABBA? 
Mamma Mia plays over at the Winter Garden Theater. It's been there since 2001. And yes, it is ABBA, number three. It's a, ABBA was a quirky Swedish pop group that became wildly popular in the 1970s with songs like Dancing Queen and Fernando. We'll let them take it away. There you go. Question eight. Lullaby of Broadway, I love this question, was famously used in an 80s TV ad for which hotel? Was it the Waldorf, the Milford Plaza, or the Essex House? You know you're singing this in your head around. The answer is the Milford Plaza. You remember that commercial? Um, that was a quirky commercial. Yeah, there you go. Sing it. They ran that campy commercial in the 1980s with dancing bellhops and housekeepers, the lullaby Broadway. Okay, moving along. Ooh, I love this question, too. Which New York sports team is known as the Broadway Blue Shirts? Is it number one, the New York Rangers? Number two, the New York Giants? Or number three, the New York Yankees? Very relevant right now, the New York Rangers. Last night, but they're coming back to the garden tomorrow to beat the Capitals, right? All the Rangers fans out there. Okay, we know I love them. We're gonna move along to question number 10. Which production was not based on the music of Rodgers and Hammerstein? Is it number one, Oklahoma, number two, Carousel, or number three, West Side Story? Currently, Cinderella on Broadway is Rodgers and Hammerstein, but West Side Story was not. The story was written by Leonard Bernstein and Stephen Sondheim, Oklahoma Carousel, and many, many. Many other major hits were based on music by Rodgers and Hammerstein, often considered the greatest songwriting duo of the 20th century, just like Pat and Contessa, the greatest weekend today in New York anchoring <laughs> duo of this century. Uh, congratulations to our top 10. Here's a web winner. That means you got to fill out the information and send it back. We have good scores today. Very good. All right, we want to see your picture. Make sure you send it. But congratulations to the top 10. It was so nice to be back. You'll all be receiving a text message with your score in a moment. I'll miss you, but we'll be right back after we the break. We miss you too. Peaks 10 for 10, Lauren. <laughs>